It seems that at this point of time, any link to Sweet Baby Inc., be it such as consultation or partnership, will only lead to one result. Mass layoff. And hello there, how's it there? I'm Mega Kita there. So obviously today in the chat, we are going to talk about the layoff that is happening within quite a few game company. But actually more so too, we'll be calling out, considering that JT some kind of like put both of the case out. And kind of like ha both happen like bad to bad within like one day, two days in between. So previously in my random chat i can't like talk about how ubisoft have been feeling due to star wars upload again in that video i also kind of like call about how games have a lot of flaw have a lot of like problem and often more than not when that actually happened it means that a game is feeling especially more so when your output of or in the investment is going to be way more than the sales you're getting back so in a way you can definitely see that Unknown Night Awakening, as well as another game which I believe is called Light Um, but behind Hyper Light Driver, by with the the uh the developer themselves as well like two different game company, both of them being so called by got some sort of link to Sweet Baby Inc. Some say it's like partnership. Some say it's like being backup. Some say it's like uh consultation along the line. So the thing is that when you have all these things any, in any form of link to Sweet Baby Inc, especially more so that previously Ubisoft also have some sort of link. So the thing is that when you have some sort of link, obviously gamers will know. And when gamers know that there's some sort of propaganda or agenda or ideology or whatever BS in games, obviously gamers won't buy the game because what they always want is they want a game that is good and i talk about that in the previous video as well where, why i play nikki a lot because the story is good it's not just because the game character is good looking we look at the butt maybe or maybe in the case the music is good the character personality is fun the sound effect is fun the voice of the character is good no it's not just that at the end of the day i always mention the story that bind everything together and make people able to relate to the character able to understand the plot the law or every single thing in a game but recently a lot of moments like if like especially like unknown night awakening it was supposed to be some sort of like a whole different series of I, um, noble game or story or drama all linked to one but the thing is right when you look at the story itself it makes no sense like sure to the writer themselves some of them may say it makes some sense but the thing is right when there is no sort of binding within all of them you definitely understand that there is some sort of like some sort of questionable point the law itself they may question like doesn't have some, have some sort of like contradiction within them and when that kind of happened the first thing in your mind will be like do you really want to play a game that doesn't make sense if the gameplay is fun and you love that kind of gameplay by all means go ahead i'm not stopping anyone the thing is at the end of the day when you kind of like know that some of the thing doesn't make sense it may at the end of the day it will become not the cut of teeth for every gamers so uh, the the main point is that gamers want what they want is it good character good maybe good music maybe good character looking maybe good story development and story everything yeah it, you have to have everything good before you can have everything bind to one especially more so like recently like dragon age or concord itself when it was before it was shut down a lot of people kind of like bash them because there was a lot of things that it doesn't make sense and most so when they released the concourse for i believe it was the animation yeah it even got even more questionable point than answer in a way so the thing is that when you have this sort of thing like sweet baby in going around dooming every single game studio it really kind of like back the question like previously when i did a random chat where i talk about how game seems to be feeling seems to be going down the trash it's it's like you can't really blame anyone going around saying like game company are feeling due to DEI as well at this point of time it, i think it's fair to say that any influence any link to sweet baby in will tend to result in a flop game a game that is considered a failure and that 
failure is not going to bring in the sales that the game company want and in turn lead to mass a off and probably future bankruptcy so considering that there's a lot of game company nowadays going along saying well mass layout i kind of like talk about this in my previous video as well where i kind of like say along the like it's not just only that one video where i talk about it i've been saying it again and again to the point that i say that when game company fail the first thing first that happen will always be mass layoff and now look at this you really got like few game company lay doing mass layoff doing this sort of thing it's it's really like so to me so predictable it's not just because like when you go around and saying that oh hey game company is just uh it's the end of the year really so it's not uncommon to hear um lay off at the near the end of the year along the line yes that is a valid point but when you have like a, f a layoff right after a flop or when the company got found out to be have some sort of link to sweet baby in yeah i intend to believe that may be the le reason why those game company fail it's not just because they have less so it's that when gamers know that it's linked to sweet baby ink the first thing is that no it's not that kind of thing they don't want it but the thing is right it's not just only that issue being linked to that i mean like sure maybe some uh investor going around saying like oh hey dei is a liability along the line um I mean like at this point of time if game company really understand the point of like having DEI in games or maybe like any link to sweet baby in as well it's going to lead to failure best kind of like quit considering that there is now whistleblower saying that the sweet baby in ceo king bella is actually someone who is considered a mentally disturbed lunatic <laughs> yeah I wouldn't be surprised if many people decided to say that hey let's join out with Shibi Ring and then the first thing is that oh hey the, our, our game is a flaw and then when the game is a flaw they have no money to pay to their employee then they start laying that off and when they lay off they still end up not able to come up with a better game because they don't have any stuff and when they don't have a stuff to or any resources to create a game bye bye the company gets shut down be back prank or sleep or shut down or any other form is just basically uh, the end result is still the same the company gets shut down so the thing is right at the end of the day it's really kind of like back to the question like is game like any form of dei is just basically leading the game company to be failure and it's not just only happening in the western game i when a lot of people asking like is it happening in the eastern side so far china and south korea is still safe apparently for now but the thing is right a lot of japanese game company has always been embracing dei in the wrong way in recent year and it's just that it only lead to the surface recently and that's the reason why uh, even japanese people themselves are slowly getting aware some of my japanese friend had told me that they found some sort of like dei in games in actually more so it's like now a lot of gamers are aware where where kind of like capcom have a fo some form of it but the thing is right i mean like even if we say like monster hunter has some sort of dei like they they want to have black character in the game it's fine i mean like when there is like basically the game itself have able let you to create any skin color character yeah i wouldn't really be surprised if there is actually black or blue or yellow character in the game the main issue at the end of the day is how the story go about how they embrace the story looking how the character is being looked and i think that should be at least how it go but if they decide to embrace some weird thing in games such as women must have full armor but not sexy armor yeah then i think that would be at least the first point of when the i starting to get they are 30 hand into even games like such as monster hunter but again at the end of the day that's still technically a speculative thought just a random chair um i can't like know that some people will be saying like is it like a lot of layout all these things is considered a meltdown that's kind of like a different story which i can't like cover it when there's a lot of gaming industry meltdown after us that's a different diff uh, video so if you do want to check out that video or any other video that you've seen on screen or i mentioned earlier all in the link description below if you are interested if not if you have your own point of view your own take your own opinion or whatever or whether you agree or disagree about gaming company getting laid off is is it due to the link to our partnership with sweet baby ink or is it just because the game company failed to pay or whatsoever along the line write in the comment section 
we can discuss it further. If not, if you do like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more random chat where I sometimes talk about stuff that sometimes makes sense, doesn't make sense, or random at time. But the one thing I hope is not random for you guys is have a nice day online.